Hey everybody, this is Goddess Jillian and welcome to my infrared sauna vlog. <sighs> so I'm, I've been spending time in here detoxing and sweating. This is where I talk about spiritual topics that I need to talk about to stay on track and in the last few days, <laughs> it's been really intense, obviously, and so I'm spending time before I do the vlog to meditate and to really sweat and clear my physical body and my energetic field and try to get some clarity on this whole picture. And also, I spend time thinking about what I want to even talk about. Today's the fifth day of self-quarantine with 99% staying in the house, only having to go out for essentials for moments. And the second day of quarantine, I'm sort of mandated by the state to only go out for essentials, but I've just decided I'm staying in. I have food and I'm, I'm solid. Um, and when you're forced to stay in, it's, it's, it can be unnerving and um, it can induce sometimes panic, you know, like, and um, a lot of overload in your mind about what might happen. And I will be honest and I'm not trying to in any way induce fear because the whole point here, and I'm going to get into this more, is to really stay in your highest vibration and the highest vibration there is for humankind is unconditional love and we are so far from unconditional love that see if we're in a state of unconditional love vibration is such a high vibration we wouldn't even be affected by a virus like the coronavirus because the coronavirus is affecting our heart chakra our respiratory and our hearts <sighs> breathe and open your heart chakra, which means thinking about mankind, thinking about your neighbor, thinking about other people before yourself, putting the highest good first, as opposed to profiteering or fear-based thinking or whatever. Now, I'm not going to tell you that things might not get hairy. I mean, things might get a little sketchy for a minute. Because the virus is one thing. The virus is debilitating and devastating for a lot of people. And we're not prepared for that. This is a hundred year virus event. We haven't seen anything like this in our lifetimes. And the people to try to poo poo and be like, oh, da, da, da. I'm telling you, this is a hundred year event to be taken seriously. Okay. And... People, London is saying, or England is saying, oh, we might, the UK is saying we might do your herd, uh, whatever, where they put everybody together and let them get infected. Well, a lot of people will die. If they do that. A lot of people. They won't be able to handle the dead. Maybe they've got caskets piled up somewhere. I don't know. This all has been foretold, and I just realized that. I mean, you know, I think we all in this day and age have thought, oh, you know, when is the shit going to come down? When is the, when is the enlightenment going to happen or whatever, you know? And I think this is it because it's not about the virus. Okay. It's about something bigger. It's about the economic devastation that will ensue from this virus worldwide. And I believe this was thought out in detail and planned in detail and a lot of other things that I'm not even going to say on this channel because Let's just say I'm not. But I do believe that this virus has a bit of a shelf life. I believed it was programmed that way. Now, who knows for sure? That's what I'm seeing. And that at some point it will leave the planet. I think the trick, though, and the biggest way to fight this whole thing is to come from your heart. Stay. Let me preface that by saying, stay in. Do not go out completely quarantine, no contact, because when the wave goes over, and this is what I kept seeing in my readings, when the wave of this virus goes over, if you're down and you're quarantined and you're safe, it's not coming back. You know, the life, sh the shelf life of this thing is limited, I believe. 
you know. So I'm saying staying and staying for, you know, it could be a while, you know, so be prepared. And the problem is, you know, there are people that are not going to be able to afford to stay in and not work and not deal with their lives and their families. And so what do those people do? So I think if we can all remain calm and try to help each other as best we can, um, I think that will help things in the aggregate move quicker and all that. But if we can just stay safe, first and foremost, stay in, then it will pass and we'll come out of this. The quicker we come out of the virus, the, the least amount of, of aftermath that we'll see from financial markets. It could completely decimate the financial markets in the world. And we might have to do an entire reset. I mean, I think that's probably likely, actually. I have done a lot of readings about it, and so I know what I've what I see, and you know, if you want a reading, I can certainly give that information to you, but I'm not going to put it out on the internet. So, anyway, at this point, these are just my musings as I'm quarantined over the next several weeks, and I'm trying to do this sauna every day just because of my health, for one. Um, it, I believe, kills viruses 100%. I've used it for almost eight years to keep healthy, and when I feel under the weather, I come right in here, boom sweat it out um, so you know I may just come in here and ramble about what's coming in while I'm going in all right so if you want a reading my readings are totally discounted really discounted which is I'm just trying to help everybody and I hope everybody helps everybody and so um, let me know if I can help you I'm here all right so Please subscribe and we can get through this together and...